Welcome to the demonstration of the NetSuite dashboard, reporting, and customer record. NetSuite is a safe and secure system that utilizes the same leading security as banking applications. As a cloud application, it is accessible anywhere and at any time through the internet. NetSuite is also a role-based system. Currently, I am logged in as the controller for our organization, which you can see in the top right corner. Each role comes with dashboards, reports, KPIs, and permissions that are tailored to that role. Additionally, roles are used to control the views, the functions, and the data to which a user has access to. Roles also implement segregation of duties. This center ribbon here makes it easy for me to quickly navigate to additional records and pages within NetSuite. I also have access to recent records and can set up shortcuts for pages that I navigate to most frequently. Dashboards organize the information and data that are important to my role, such as reminders and key metrics. I can personalize my dashboard by dragging and dropping portlets as well as adding new portlets. For example, to add a new portlet, I will click on Personalize and then drag in Analytics. I can visualize real-time financial and operational data from NetSuite with reports and metrics generated with Suite Analytics and display this on my dashboard. I will click on Setup and then select the report that I want to see on my dashboard. I can also scroll over the bar chart to see the total amount. Reminders here on the left hand side are also one of the most important aspects of my dashboard. These reminders act as a digital assistant to help me complete daily tasks. All these tasks are drillable and allow me to quickly take action on items like sales orders that need to be invoiced and periods that need to be closed. Reminders are built off of a save search. Virtually any kind of record in NetSuite can be the basis of or included in a save search, such as searching for data through invoices greater than 30 days, greater than $50,000. Key performance indicators or KPIs also help me visualize NetSuite data like revenue, sales, and payables. These KPIs are drillable, for example, I can click into the Revenue KPI here, which takes me directly into my income statement. Finally, with the Report Builder, I can create a report to meet my role-based needs. For instance, by opening the column filter, I can break out our income statement by different segments. For this demonstration, I am going to break out my income statement by class. Once I click refresh, my income statement reflects that change and showcases different revenue streams for the company. The global search functionality at the top of my dashboard allows me to quickly search for records and reports within NetSuite. For example, I will use it to look up a customer record. On the customer record, I track basic customer information like email, phone number, and website. The sub-tabs organize the different types of information available for that customer. On the Communications sub-tab, I can attach different files as well as log tasks and phone calls. Under the Sales sub-tab, I see all the transactions for this customer, allowing me to easily gauge the customer's financial standing, purchase history, and possible opportunities for upsell. I am also able to drill directly into these transactions to view the record. Expanding on those transactions, when I click on the Customer 360 sub-tab, I see a complete real-time view of the customer, like number of orders, number of invoices, and year-to-date sales. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.